at the moment Saracen's just having to defend at the RDS and how many times have we seen that already from Wigglesworth the box kick this time let's say but takes it cleanly Horgan back to his fullback bit of space for Nasewa here almost through the gap as well lovely footwork by the Fijian Redden to Sean O'Brien Sexton to Mike Ross Leinster keeping the ball alive and some good hands so far in the opening seven minutes so Driscoll to Nasewa back inside to Strauss he's got support from O'Brien O'Brien stretches and he's in well that was patient it was brilliant handling on the end of it but what a fantastic passage of play from Leinster and in that passage of play it really captured what Leinster are about this year there's a confidence you know spreading throughout the side every time they take the field there's a collective awareness from loose head to fullback any player that gets in behind with a bit of space the bells go and it's all out attack no matter how tight the space Leinster come forward again Dominic Ryan hits the ground and Redden feeds his fly half this time Leinster looking for a bit of space and they found it here Sexton delayed the pass beautifully Shane Horgan two in front of him the six foot four frame eventually brought down Redden wants quick ball and gets it Sexton again with a little show runs into Hugh Vivian with the scrum cap and presents it for a scrum half the crowd are appealing for a penalty Leinster there but Roman Poit having none of it still they have possession Luke Fitzgerald lovely pop up Rickard Strauss leaves it on the ground for Redden and they've got numbers left here surely they've got to go in two on one Leinster are over and it's Dominic Ryan who goes in once they get in behind they just flood the support channels with numbers and players are acutely aware that you lay it off just like that keep the momentum going keep the tempo and really they were just queuing up outside eventually it's Ryan in a good position great reach fantastic start for Leinster Again, Saracen's trying to kick it clear. The wind stopping any kind of distance, and Fitzgerald with a poor pass to Nasewa, and the interception's there, and Short is through. James Short over the 22. They're not going to catch him. The winger has plenty of pace, and that has gifted Saracen's a try. And, uh, it was just a sloppy bit of play from Leinster, and they'll be just working hard now to, to make up for that, but it just gives Saracen's a foothold in a the match they should never have been in at this point. Well, it's their first much more solid from Leinster that's exactly what they would have wanted inside the 22 they just need to get rid of this win behind Sexton again little show from Sexton behind his own line and Fitzgerald has to clear well that's the second time that Jonathan Sexton's been caught and it gives Saracens an opportunity to attack and it's the try score James Short to Tangy Thackenbau who's shoved back in the tackle Farrell back in the pocket again it's called Fritz Strettel speed down the wing and he slips through the tackle the Sewa can't get to him and they're going to go in again it's Kelly Brown try number two for Saracens well they weren't in the game when you just settle down batten down the hatches put the ball the length of the park for five or ten minutes particularly when you recognize the opposition are coming back into the match you go back to basics Leinster didn't and now they are facing well a resurgent Saracens here who not having been in the match are back to within three points that's before the conversion to come and Brown delighted as he gives the victory salute going over and getting in with a very well worked try you'd have to say from the counter attack Saracens back into it at this level well, especially with the wind in Leinster's favour Sean O'Brien he started Leinster's early attacks and trying to get something going here Rickard Strauss into Steve Borthwick who puts the South African back in the tackle Push eight. Well, Leinster still have Mike Ross this time pick from O'Brien almost through he is through over the 22 one to beat back inside and almost a second for Sean O'Brien but Leinster still have it Rickard Strauss wrestling there with Kelly Brown for the ball referees signaled Leinster advantage so Keane Healy knows a penalty in front of the post will come if Leinster don't get over from here they've got number Sexton out to Jennings Jennings with a show back in and Dominic Ryan's in for try number two 
his way through. He's extremely powerful, and it's here he holds on. But uh, it was an infringement. They didn't cover it. There's numbers here. Jennings does well. Felt he wouldn't get there with the dive himself. Fed it to the supporting Dominic Ryan. What a what a game he's having. Back goes Gavin Henson. Under a little bit of pressure, but he's got a huge boot on him. Owen Redden, that was carried back in. Support run from Horgan. And back to Jonathan Sexton, little dummy from the fly half. And back to Brian O'Driscoll. Good hands from Leinster. Up towards the 22, and the support is still there, and they're going to go in for another try. Fergus McFadden won't be caught. And Leinster have their bonus points, and they also have increased the lead. Sexton plays a big part here. He goes for the gap, gets in behind, and immediately Brian O'Driscoll knows it's on. And everyone from this point is looking for the free runner. And that free runner was McFadden in his great supporting position. A fantastic try. Once Leinster get in behind, the whole team seems to collectively understand at an instant that, the, that there is space available. Good scrum from Saracens on that occasion. Sexton has. Looks for O'Driscoll to get the space and takes it again. Back off his outside centre. Sean O'Brien this time. Over the 22 and support from Fitzgerald. And an e quick ball. And Redden's complaining that Saracens have slowed it down. Referee right on the spot. Hasn't seen anything wrong. Sexton again. This time Mike Ross takes two men to bring him down. Barrett. One of the defenders on that occasion. Again, good line for O'Driscoll. The offload to Nasewa. Little step from Nasewa. Absolutely magic. Created for Brian O'Driscoll and finished in style by the fullback. He knows exactly where he's putting that. He knows exactly where the support is coming from. And he's taken out three defenders at one time. Now Nasewa did. That scrum has looked really solid over the last 25, 30 minutes or so. Lovely line again. Little show and a step from O'Malley. And Leinster are going in again. It's the substitute. Back to full fitness. The short line, and you'd have to say the defence was pretty wafer thin there, but he took full advantage and races in for a score. Well, the old Belvedere centre really has come on a huge amount in the last year. And look at this for footwork. Leaves short for dead, and short is no slouch, I can tell you. We saw in the first half his pace, and... Oh no, Mali went by him as if he wasn't even yeah, there. Nice <laughs> and look at the joy on the face of Jennings and the try score. <laughs> Kelly Brown surveying his options, pick and go by the Scotland International. Carlos Nito Who's too. Back? And <laughs> Saracen's just trying to find a way around that Leinster fringe defence so far it's held out John O'Gibbs will be delighted with that this time they go wide, hands are there they are going to finish with a try and it's Niels Mort, the full back who goes in well, consolation as you said Hugh, and eventually Leinster ran out of numbers but uh, you know, with 82 minutes on the clock you can allow that and while they'll be disappointed to have their line crossed they really have uh, put a marker down today for the rest of the competition he blows the final whistle, Leinster have done the job in very impressive style six tries in total means they top their group with the bonus points and surely look odds on now for that home quarter final tie with one round still to go but the full time score here in the RDS after round 5 is Leinster 43, Saracens 20